Hi everyone, Cheryl from The Sewing Basket and I am back with my second video for the Santa's Workshop called Go and Sew. A lot of you have been going back out into the world and meeting with your friends and going on retreats or different retreat centers or taking classes again at your shop and you need to pack up your things and go so you can sew. So a few of the products I have for this video are going to be things that you might want to take along with you. So the first thing I have is what we're calling the retreat tote, okay? And this is a great big container or a, a tote that you can stuff a lot of the things that you need in there. It's big enough to hold your 24 inch rulers, it's big enough to hold your cutting mats, and a whole lot of other stuff that you're going to be needing. So we're just going to go through it and we're going to see what we all packed in our tote for today. So the first thing whoop, on the outside is we have three different pockets. So this one goes all the way to the bottom. If I can get it up here a little bit. And then we have the small one on the top and the medium one, size one on below that. And then on the back is one large pocket. And they're all made with vinyl so you know what's in each one. You don't have to be digging through and opening zippers to find where you put something. So in this one, in our top little pocket, we have things that you might find just interesting to have along, okay? So first of all, we have our little car coasters. And this is a great little thing because you're gonna be driving to get to your retreat or your class. And these are new car coasters. So in your cup holder in your car, you can put this coaster in the bottom. It's made of stone and it's gonna absorb any of that moisture that comes off of those cups as they sit in there. A lot of times when you have a, a cup of, of soda from a drive-through, um, it likes to drip into that cup holder. So this is gonna absorb that to keep your car nice and clean. Next, we have a deck of cards. Sometimes when you're at a retreat for three, four, five days, you just need to take a break from sewing. So what a perfect thing to do. These are Bonnie, Bonnie Hunter's cards, so they're gonna have different quilt designs on them, and you and your friends can sit and play cards for a little while. One of the other things we have is, you might bring a book for reading, or you might bring a little puzzle book. And this is a Happy Quilters Variety Puzzle. So it's just gonna have all different crossword puzzles and word searches and different kind of brain type games that are great for quilters. And along with this, if you need a little extra light where you are, we have these little clothespins, whether it's for this or just a book that you're reading. And if you open it up and you push it, you can see there's a little light on there, okay? So as you're reading or doing your, your puzzles, it kind of is dual purpose. It will either hold the book open to your page, but it's also gonna give you a little bit of extra light for reading or playing those games. So just a fun little gadget to have along, okay? The next thing we have on our outer pocket is going to be two new rulers from Creative Grids. And they don't look that different for the most of us. We've all seen a six and a half by 24 inch ruler. We've already seen a six and a half inch square up ruler. So what makes these new? What makes these different? Well, for the small section of the world that is left-handers, these rulers were made specifically for you. Your numbers are going from left to right instead of typically right to left. And they're designed with all of those features for left-handers so you don't always have to be cutting in the opposite way of things that are designed for the standard right-handed population. Okay, so these aren't for everybody, but if you're a left-hander, they are awesome. Or if you know a left-hander that could really use something. They've been very popular. It would not surprise me if they come out with more and more that are printed this way. But these were the first two that they came out with. And we've been selling a lot of them. So it's a great new product. The other thing with Creative Grid rulers is they always have a little QR code on them. So you can take your phone, your uh, cell phone, and put it into your camera mode and scan that little QR code and it'll always take you directly to the videos that help support the ruler so you understand the best way to use them. All right, so now we're going to go inside our tote and see what we've been bringing along. 
So a lot of times one of the things at a class or at a retreat, um, ironing and cutting stations can get kind of clogged up. Everybody's trying to use them all at the same time. So this is a product by OmniGrid and it's a cut and iron mat that folds out. So it's hard, okay, it's, gonna, it's nice and sturdy. You can have it right next to your sewing table. So you can iron, you can cut, right next to you. You can also, for smaller rulers, place them in here and when you close it and uh, close it up, because it's nice and stiff, your rulers are going to be safe inside. Okay, so this is just a great little resource for any time you're going somewhere and you know that you either need to iron next to you because the station could be full or you're just in a small space. Maybe your, your uh, sewing area at home is tight and this could be a little more convenient than trying to set up a big ironing surface all the time. All right, so this is the uh, fold and go, right? The fold away cutting mat and ironing portable station. And to go along with that, you might need a small portable iron. Now we have two different ones. Um, there's the little traveling iron that Elaine likes or not a lot and I found this one one of the the great things about this is it comes with this little silicone mat so you can have it next to your ironing surface all the time so you can just set it on there when you're um, working with it you don't need to necessarily set it up all the time you can set it right on that silicone mat and then when you're done you can put this on here to stow it away for going back home so you don't accidentally have to wait for it to cool totally down so you don't accidentally uh, burn something or scorch something. It's got your steam, it's got an adjustable dial, um, and it's got actually two steam buttons on the side. So it's just a nice little unit to take along right with you to keep it handy right next to your workstation. If you don't have a small one, but you still want to have a silicone mat, or if you have one of those irons that kind of stands up and down on its own and you're not used to standing it up anymore and now you're somewhere where you need to stand it up, this is just a silicone mat that you can put on any ironing surface so that when you do set your iron down, it can be sitting on there and again, you're not going to accidentally scorch something. So this is a, you know, $5.99. It's a very... In inexpensive investment to prevent um, an accident that you don't want to happen. So again, that's the iron, the silicone iron rust. And then on the inside, so this is a little case. It's technically a rotary cutter case, which you can use just fine for rotary cutters and extra blades, but I like to use them for all different sorts of things. Um, in the past, I've kept my log cabin rulers in here, the, the um, little short ones. And this year I've put in all of my marking tools. So again, when you're going somewhere and you're not needing to try to keep everything coordinated and, and not getting lost within your small workspace, it's nice to have little compartments to keep things in. So this time it's all for my different marking tools. Um, I've talked about a lot of these tools in the past. There's some of my favorites but I, I can never speak highly enough about them. There are a lot of you may have seen these or already own them, but we also have a lot of new customers that may not know about these products. So my two favorite are gonna be, actually I'm gonna grab one that's open here. Um, the, the white pen or the white chalk marker. Okay, so on here is a little blade or a little roller. And when you go to roll it, and I don't know if you'll see it on here, Mm, sorry, I should have grabbed a darker piece of fabric. Grab this. See if you can see it on the red here. Okay, so if you can see that, I'm going to hold it up. See that little tiny line that I drew on there? Okay, so it leaves a really fine little line of chalk. Okay, it's, I like it because I don't have to worry about getting rid of a mark. As you sew, it's pretty much gonna bounce away. So it's a loose powder in here, it leaves a fine line and it kind of disappears on its own. The negative, it kind of disappears on its own, right? 
What if I can't mark too much stuff at a time because as I'm sewing, it's gonna rub off or bounce off. So you have to know when you want kind of a small section marked that you don't have to worry about it disappearing before you get to it, okay? The other one that I really like is the blue marker. This one's gonna wash away. So if, if I, it's not gonna bounce off, I have to put it in water so I know that um, to get rid of it or spray it with my sprayer, but it's not gonna, it's gonna stay until I choose to remove it. Um, I like this one best for light fabrics. I like this one best for dark fabrics. The other thing is the charcoal, the other charcoal liner, it works exactly the same, except the end here is a little bit thinner. So if I'm using one of the rulers with a, a grid in it or grooves in it, this thinner tip will get into those grooves so I can use my rulers to mark and it's just a, it, a little more user friendly for that. But otherwise, it's just the exact same product. This is the original one and this is the newer one with the little bit thinner tip on it. Okay, same product inside. One other little helpful hint, you can take one of these, empty it out, and refill it with the iron off powder. So then that stays a little more permanent and you iron it away, okay? Little tip. My other favorite product that I love is the bone pen, okay? So this one's more of a, a pencil, like the old mechanical pencils, and it's gonna have different leads that you can put in and out. This one is great because the line is, is super fine, but for things that, like say a half square triangle or things where I need to mark and then sew on both sides, if I use that charcoal liner, it might bounce off and I won't be able to see it the second time, okay? So this one is a little more permanent, it's thinner, but yet it rubs off um, either just with your hand or even if you take a little, you know, a damn towel or something, it'll wipe right away. And then you also have the option of all the different color LEDs. So it comes with the white, and then it also has your standard um, graphite gray, and then there's pink, green, or yellow. So it gives you a little bit more of a choice as to uh, the color that you need for whatever fabric you're working on. So those tend to be my go-to marking tools, just depending upon what application I'm doing and how much longevity I want to the product stain on my fabric. And then on the back side of our tote, inside the big pocket, we have a smaller tote bag, okay? So this might be for just a day trip maybe driving in the car you have a small little project and this is a new group that was brought out by the gypsy quilter they're the people that do the wool mats and a lot of your um the little purple items that you see they're like purple's kind of their color so this little mat will unzip all the way open and it'll lay flat and inside this set comes some of their products okay so it comes with the 11 by 11 wool pressing mat Again, that great size for right next to your sewing machine. A lot of people are loving these wool mats. Gets you that double press, kind of pressing both sides at the same time. It also is going to come with your little rubber silicone grips to put over your finger. So again, if you were watching my last video on the gnomes and I had a I had to iron that little edge of the Dresden plate for the beard and I had to hold my finger there, it's a great product to put on so you don't actually burn the tip of your finger. It also comes with a set of the cool pins. I talked about those during the, the gnome demonstration because you can iron over them. It's a silicone base, which is not gonna melt if the iron hits it. It's also, because it's silicone, a little more grippy, so it's easier to hold onto. Um, and they got a nice long, sharp point, so they're really good for holding everything in place and yet grabbing onto to pull them out. And then it also comes with a little pop-up garbage can. So this has just got a little metal wire in the middle. When you take it out, it bounces up. So again, you can keep all those scraps in a little garbage can right next to your workstation, all right? It also has in here um, extra little pockets for some little things that you might wanna put in there. So this is, is the um, Gypsy wool mat set with the carrying case. Again, so you got the big, the big case or the little case. Just depends upon where you're going, what you're doing, and who you're playing with. So I hope you'll come back for my last video and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.